Hey, this is Dan and I am back with something that I am really excited about. I was going around Amazon and looking at different products and I came across this thing by Key Studio. And what I think is really cool about it is that it comes with a bunch of sensors and things like that and we'll go over that. But what is really cool to me is the idea that all of these things are connected with RJ11 jacks. Um, one of the things when you're first learning Arduino, I came from a little bit of an electronics background, I had a coding background, but when you get a board like this and you have these jumper wires and you have things like an LED, I can completely understand somebody who is a newbie not knowing the difference between positive and negative, not understanding um, you know, what a resistor is or how to tell which side of the LED to hook up and, and there's just a lot of room to make mistakes and so I came across this board and this kit and I want to check it out so I'm going to open it up. I've got my knife here. Let's open it up. Pop it out. And so we got. So we have a nice plastic case here and some instructions. Uh, some information. So basically it comes with uh, some LED modules, red, green, and blue, a buzzer, a photocell, something for uh, soil humidity, an analog gas sensor, a light sensor, a uh, side pot module, like a, a little slider thing, almost like you'd uh, use on a sound mixer, capacitive touch, knock, flame, PIR, like a motion sensor, DS18B20, one of those uh, linkable temperature probes, temperature sensors, IR receiver, uh, obstacle detector, clock module, so I'm guessing that's like a real-time clock, maybe, uh, we'll see. And it's got a joystick, ultrasonic, four color, two by two, so four uh, RGB relays, some plug modules, a fan, a servo, and another servo, and some wires, so let's take a look. I'm not going to sit here and open up every single one of them, but let's get to the board itself. Let's let's get this stuff out of the way. And this is the board. So, what you will notice is that it is considerably bigger than even a mega. I don't know if you'd say considerably, but it is about the size of a mega, maybe a little bit bigger. And uh it has these RJ11 jacks. They're six pin. I don't know if that's RJ22 or RJ11, but uh, this is module version 2.0 and has your standard USB barrel jack. Looks like a reset pin. And uh, I think it's cool that it has this SPI stuff so you can kind of learn SPI and I squared C. So um, let me open up a module or two. We'll just start taking a look through it. It's a chunky module. This is a uh, I've, I've had some of these joystick modules, and this one seems a little beefier. Yeah, that's a that's a decent size. Let me get it up here for you. That's a decent size little joystick module with the little cap that can go on there. Let's see if I can get that on. So yeah, that's a that's a decent thumbstick. That's about the size of one you'd get on like an Xbox controller or something like that. Um, let's see here. Let's grab another random sensor. We'll cut it open, see if we can see what it is. This is a servo. Yeah, a little servo controller. Here's my thing. What, what got me excited about this board, we don't have to go through every single sensor. I'll do a little bit of demo in a couple of minutes. But what got me excited about this is that when you start off with Arduinos, there's a good chance you don't know anything about code, you don't know anything about electronics, and you just want to get started. And what I think is really cool is that a kit like this takes some of the guesswork out. You're not worried about is my module 3.3 volts or is it 5 volts. You're not worried about, you know, did I, does the black wire go here and the yellow wire go there? Well, what if I'm out of yellow wires and, and all of that kind of stuff? You just plug it in. And uh, so I think that's cool. Now, I'm not saying that it takes the place of something like this. This is a, a, a mega clone and I love these things, but when you're getting started, I can really see some value to not having to understand all the wiring right off the bat. That doesn't mean you don't learn all the wiring, but you don't have to, to know everything at once. You don't have to start everything at once. And then 
I haven't fired up the software yet, but I was looking at the box, and the box shows something that basically looks like uh, little drag and drop things. I think they call it Scratch. I've never really programmed in Scratch other than like a few little um, app builder type things, but what this looks like to me is that you don't have to start off with C. You can use the little drag and drop editor and learn the idea of functions and pin numbers and all of that kind of stuff. And then maybe, I guess we'll see if this thing can switch over to be used with the regular Arduino IDE. So let me take a look at this so I don't bore you on video and I'll come back and tell you what I found. Okay, I have to say I'm actually really impressed. I went to the wiki and downloaded the software and it was a little uh, I'll be honest it was a little sketchy downloading it so I uploaded the whole 340 some megabyte file to virus total came back totally clean I installed it and they have this nice tutorial that basically just goes through all the different sensors and what they did and so obviously being a maker I jumped right to the light up LED and it basically shows you that you can plug in to D9 and you know, it gives you a couple little examples of how to turn an LED on, turn an LED off. And then I just basically decided from that point to tinker and see what I could do. So um, I wanted to make sure I could do multiple things at once. So I grabbed the little code editor. When you first install it, it's going to be in Chinese or something. And so on the upper right hand corner, you want to hit English. And basically what happens with this is you can come in here and you can grab these little blocks and drag them in. You can set things high and low. Um, what I did with variables, so I took a variable here and you can basically declare, like you could declare, give it a name, um, like LED and you can give it a default value. So what I did, when you first drug it in, it had a default value of val, so I just left it that way. So basically I declared a variable for the state of the LED. I turned on the serial monitor and I told it that I was going to plug in the little capacitive touch sensor in um, 8 and sign whatever it, assign whatever it got to that VAL. Um, then I'm going to serial print it and then basically if nothing is touching the sensor, then turn the LED off. And if something is touch and go ahead and display on the screen, the LED is off. And if something is touching the sensor, turn the LED on and display on the thing that the, the LED is on. I mean, it is that simple. And you can come in here and you can take these digital sensors and, you know, buttons and flame sensors, and you can just drag them in there. And you can come in the analog one and drag it in and, and just do all sorts of logic with these things. And, and I'm impressed. And what I'm even more impressed about is that you can come here and just get the actual Arduino code. So as these things are being added, like when I added the screen, then these extra libraries for the I squared C all popped in there automatically. Um, it did all this for me. It basically, it wrote all of this for me. And the great thing about that is if you don't know C, this is a great starter kit to learn the basics. You know, you don't need to go on the Arduino Facebook group and say, can somebody give me an example? Because you just play with it. You just tinker with it. And you go back and forth. And I had never used this little OLED module before. And, and in literally less than three minutes, I had it on the screen showing me the status. So we'll go back over to the bench and I'll give you an example. Okay, so here we are about 15 minutes after hooking the thing up to the computer for the first time. Um, we're using three sensors. I've got a touch sensor, an LED, and a screen. And if I were to come here and put my finger on it, the LED lights up and you can see the screen changes from saying, uh, now it says on, it'll say off, on, off. And that is just really cool. And just take a step back for a minute. I teach coding around the world. I teach electronics around the world. And one of the reasons why I do is that I believe that coding is problem solving. And if you can learn how to solve problems, you can do anything. And so I believe in this stuff so much that I'm going to give this kit to somebody who is learning coding to some students or something like that. I'll figure that out. But I also believe in it so much that I asked Key Studio if they would donate one to the group. And so if you have a student who is learning coding or you want to learn electronics, then just go to ArduinoFB.com and scroll down here and you'll see the Key Studio giveaway. You click on that, it'll take you to the contest. You just enter your name and your email address. Only enter once, we will know. And uh, just hit enter and you can take a chance to win. 